what is up crackhead nation oh my god we just got more information on super m if you guys don't know if you guys have not seen the channel i love super m and i'm gonna be talking about them again today so you better believe i feel like i'm the only super m stan in america right now so the first thing to note is that sm is coming out with super m on october 4th it came out with this promotion schedule which kind of looks like my math homework in high school that i used to cry about for three and a half hours but you know what? I don't have to read promotion schedule. I read it so you don't have to. Basically, the promotion schedule is just saying how they're going to be coming out with concept images and like short videos for the entire month of September. They're going to be coming out with a performance video on the 28th of September. And then they're going to be coming out with MV teasers and still images every day until the 4th. Also have question marks on their debut day. So I'm not sure if they're gonna be doing like some Good Morning America promo. I'm not sure if they're gonna be doing a traditional like K-pop thing now where they go to all the different late night hosts and then they go to Good Morning America and then like performing. So I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited to see them. And oh my goodness. What if they have a mini tour? I would love that. So I want you guys to leave a comment. What do you think SM is going to have Super M do in America? Honestly, I think they might have them do like a mini tour. So I want to hear what you guys think about it because I'm hella excited. Let's go on to the merch. So Super M had a countdown on their website and everyone was like, what was it? What was it? But yesterday they announced basically they came out with merch. They have their own merch store. They basically have a t-shirt for every single member of the group. So they have one for Taehyung, Taemin, Baekhyun, Kai, Ten, Mark, and Lucas. And they also have a matching album to wear along with your Super M merch. <laughs> I love that. That's such like a K-pop thing. I love how they kept the, the, the K-pop things that make them profitable. <laughs> They're just like, here's eight albums. I know y'all bitches gonna buy it because you already stand these groups. Look at these album covers. I'm just like, I'm thirsting really hard. Like, Lucas. <laughs> oh my God. When all of this merch and individual albums come out for each member, I'm gonna have to buy all of them because I'm the only Super M stan on YouTube. I am the only one Super M stan on YouTube. Does anyone want to come for my title? Because I am here. Let's just talk about the t-shirts for a second. So if you click on the t-shirts like I did last night, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. You know, like I was thinking, you know, doing like a pre-order thing. And then I look, <laughs> I look at the description and it says, you know, like pre-order, digital album. Okay, that's cool. But then something says, something really weirds me out. It says, get ready for the ultimate Super M merchandise experience. Okay, I'm just like, nanny? Like, <laughs> what is that? This Lucas T features exclusive augmented reality content. SM is not playing. They are not, they can, they, look, they said we're coming to America. We are united. We are super M and we're also augmented reality. <laughs> Like, this is insane. Download the app and watch as your t-shirt comes to life. The app will be available to download after October 4th. I wonder what the augmented reality is gonna be like if Luke is gonna like come out of the shirt and like make out with me, like. If it's not that, then I don't want it. If he's not gonna propose on one knee and declare his love to me, I don't want the augmented reality. That is really interesting, honestly. I'm like hella excited. Like this makes me even more excited because it's like not only do I buy a t-shirt and I have an album for when it comes out, but I'm also gonna buy all of the albums with all the members. So you guys better stay tuned and subscribe to get that content because honestly, I like my thirst is just off the charts. It's like wee 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 like this. <laughs> my thirst is does that even make sense? No, it doesn't. We're gonna move on though. Next, we have the track list, which I know all y'all been waiting for, and the leak of one of the songs off the track list. Here's the track list. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for it? Okay. The track list is number one, Joe Ping. Number two, I Can't Stand the Rain. Number three, Too Fast. Number four, Supercar. And number five, no manners. So what do you guys think about this track list? Let me know because I honestly thought that this track list was made by a 15 year old boy who has some weird obsession with Fast and the Furious. That's just the kind of vibe. I guess, I mean, come on, supercar? Supercar? Like, girl, like, what is this? I can't stand the rain. I don't know, I feel like that's gonna be a bop. Too fast. I, that's gonna be a hard as fuck song. Like that's gonna be like, do, 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 do. it's gonna be um, what's that one song off of off of Don't Mess Up My Tempo? Why is it the same aesthetic as Super M though? Can we expose SM right now? 
It's Sign, Sign. I haven't heard Sign by EXO. I think it's gonna sound a lot like Too Fast. I think it's gonna be very abrasive and people are either gonna like it or hate it. Um, Supercar, uh, No Manners. This, ooh, this song is gonna be, I feel this song's gonna be like, yeah, I'm a bad boy. Well, I'm a fuck boy. Uh, I ain't got no manners. I don't respect women. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> I get those vibes from it. So I'm just like, uh, okay, like, we'll, we'll hope for the best, you know? Let's talk about this first song, Joping. J-O-P-P-I-N-G. I don't really know what that means. Um, I'm gonna look it up. Maybe it's like, I don't think it's a typo. I mean, that would be really embarrassing, but. Oh, okay, so jolting is a combination of the two dance styles, jiving and bopping. So beyond the mess of the track list names, let's talk about I Can't Stand the Rain because we got a leak for that. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. I'm just gonna listen to it. It's gonna be my first time I've listened to it. So I'm really excited. Oh man. Hearing this makes me so excited. Holy crap. Oh, it's kind of, it sounds kind of sounds like, um, like traditional Korean, like, um, you know, music. Or am I just being racist? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Me? Racist? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> oh, that's different. That is not even a draw. Well, that's basically it. But that's crazy. Also wondering how much English is going to actually be in the songs because the, the appeal of K-pop is the fact that sometimes you can't really understand what they're saying. So it's just like, you know, easy to dance along to. You don't have to think too deep about the lyrics. I feel like the English, I feel like it's going to be 80% like English and 20% Korean. So I want you guys to leave your opinions and thoughts about this group in the comments below and like the video if you enjoyed this in any way. Follow me on Instagram for more crackhead K-pop content because that's always what I'm doing. Actually, when this news came out, like immediately broke about Super M, I like immediately fangirled on my story and like it was crazy. Follow me on Instagram. You will not be disappointed at all because not only am I hilarious, but I also make content for y'alls as well. Like and subscribe for more K-pop content, K-pop news. And I'm also coming out with a BT21 back to school haul slash giveaway. I'm so excited. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. And remember, it's super M, not sperm.